This lesson deals with supplemental problem 212. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 2 supplemental problems on page 11. Suppose I'm given a piece of a circuit and I have some measured currents. I'd like to solve for the current I1, I2, and the voltage V. I'm going to use Kirchhoff's voltage law and current law and Ohm's law to solve for these two currents and a voltage. I've redrawn the circuit below and I've labeled all my steps on the schematic as much as I can. Let's start at this node over here. We can start in a lot of different places, but at this node, I know the five amps is entering and three amps is leaving. The current that's going in this direction would have to be two amps. In other words, five entering, three leaving, two leaving. And that's one of the variables we're trying to solve for I1. Go down to this node and I've got three amps entering and I have one amp leaving and I could then solve for this current leaving the node, which would have to be two amps. In other words, three is equal to one plus two. That's my second step. Knowing this current, I could find the voltage across the resistance of two ohms by multiplying two amps times two ohms or four volts. Again, I still have two amps entering here and I have one amp leaving. And so this must also be one amp. Again, two amps is equal to one plus one. That's my fourth step. Coming back up here now, I could solve for the current I2. And I know that one amp is entering, two amps is entering, so three has to be leaving. That's my step five. The two amps that's here is flowing in a five ohm resistor, so I'll have two amps times five ohms or 10 volts. That could have been my second step, but I just went down over here. All right, so I know I1 and I2, and lastly, I have to find the voltage across this current source. But I know all the voltages around this loop. So let me go around the loop and solve for the voltage V. So let's start over here. So I have a rise in voltage of four, a rise in voltage of 10, a drop of V and a drop of four. And that's the equation shown below. So now I can solve for V, the force cancel, and I got V is equal to 10. And this is supplemental problem 212.